high school, I'm not really sure what I want to do, but um, I'm interested in neuropsychology and how the brain works and how that affects how people act. Like I, I'm very big on engineering and engineering you work with a lot of people at times, designing products and... After graduate high school, I want to go to college so I can become a doctor because I like helping others. After high school, I would like to go to college and earn a master's degree or PhD in computer science. I've had a lot of dreams, but I think creating my own business would be best. I'm not sure what I want to do yet, but if I go to college to to when I figure out what I want to do, I know that's going to help me achieve it easier. After high school, I'm planning on attending Roger Williams University. I will be majoring in architecture and pursue a career as an architect with a firm that looks to help improve multifamily housing in different areas. Or Together we worked month after month to identify skill sets and expected outcomes for our graduates. Um, being part of this project um, encouraged us to have different dialogues with teachers, administrators, students, policy makers, um, as well as um, business and community leaders. Um, it was a great chance to learn from each other and to share our different experiences and our different perspectives. As a former bilingual student and bilingual teacher, um, it was really exciting for me to have my voice being heard, sharing my recommendations and sharing my thoughts. We looked at what other communities have done, we looked at what other portraits of graduates had done, and then we started to kind of um, run these surveys to ask questions from the community about what they thought was important. And then we had to take all these words and all these concepts and ideas and kind of shrink them down into like their main core categories and concepts and we broke the coalition into pieces. Um, they got to work in individual groups on each of the what we felt were like the main buckets or the main categories. It was also a great experience being part of the Design Achievement Equity Training as I was able to connect with different teachers and students and also share our different life experiences and how the school system impact and shape our life and also help us become who we are. Um, listening to the students' experiences and also their opinions and thoughts was really uh, insightful because it also helped us to consider um, what kind of skills they really need um, to be successful and how we can improve and change our um, curriculum and our school system to help them become who they want to become and being successful. It was the time to reflect and to also uh, realize the importance of learning about our past so that we don't make the same mistakes in the future. Through many meetings, focus groups, and some wordsmithing, we were able to identify the following categories. Communicator, collaborator, innovator, learner, and advocate. Danbury Public School System, I have learned many things that will help me in years to come and in the future. I have been taught how to work with wide ranges of fellow students and teachers and how to listen and appreciate others' thoughts and ideas. The Danbury Public School System has also taught me skills like learning how to advocate for myself. Um, if you're a good collaborator and you work together with people, it opens up much more job opportunities. Like with online school, there's breakout rooms. So we'll be put into breakout rooms and we'll have to cooperate with each other to read an article or do some work. And I think that could help in the future. The skill that's going to help me most in the future is innovator because while reaching my goal, I'm going to face problems and hardships. No matter how old you get, there's still more to learn whether it's in education or just like socially and, and I think something like a school um, it's been pretty much the same for like a century or so and I think there are some aspects of it that need to change. 
portrait of a graduate will help me achieve those goals because it is filled with skills that, are, that a graduate, such as me, would need in order to thrive in life. For example, communication, that this is very crucial when you're collaborating with other people and you need to communicate effectively. Um, another one that really stood out to me was self-reliant learner or learner and that independence where you can, uh, you have your own curiosity and you have your own drive to learn different things and I think that's really important because not everyone is going to be there to teach you everything so sometimes you need to learn things on your own and learn from your mistakes. So I think um, all of the skills listed in Portrait of a Graduate are very important. Well, if I learn to, to, to learn from my mistakes and to grow, I'm innovating who I am and just growing as a person. Um, the coalition did wonderful things to get all community members involved, all stakeholders ranging from business owners to teachers, administrators, family members, and students were involved in this process. I am the assistant director of the Pre-Collegiate and Access Programs at Western Connecticut State University, as well as a proud alumni of the Denver Public Schools. Um, our programs serve middle school, high school, as well as college students, so therefore it was a great opportunity to be involved with the Portrait of a Graduate Coalition, since we were not only impacting the current students, but also their future. So we did different things. We did surveys, uh, we did focus groups, and actually with our high school students, I was able to host two focus groups. And it was nice to see how they were able to review the survey results and share their feelings, as well as um, later on when we had the categories, also share their feelings of how they felt about it. Many of them thanked us for doing that because they felt like they're opinions did matter and that's what is important. The coalition not only did it accomplish you know coming up and with the categories and accomplishing the portrait of a graduate but it was also a benefit for all the Denver Polk students because we were able to create connections with other groups other organizations that will continue to help them uh, throughout these years to come. It was awesome to see all these different parts of the community that sometimes are difficult to reach out to all collaborating on this idea of what it means to them that a Danbury graduate should be. And I also really liked the experience of being able to work with students who were part of the coalition also, and I felt like their voice was heard very often. And being able to work closely with the ideas of the parents and the students was a pretty cool experience. I'm an early childhood educator in the community, and uh, this project uh, gravitated uh, my, you know, pretty much my attention to it because of the different capacities I can um, bring my views into the project. Uh, first, as a parent um, of a junior high uh, student who will graduate in a few years, uh, then as an early childhood educator, um, I'm a child care director uh, of a preschool in the community, and. Um, and also um, representing my immediate um, community as a community leader, an immigrant from the Asian Indian community. The graduates have to be, um, uh, have to have the skill set for the jobs uh, then. They did have to be market ready. They have to be uh, ready for the global market. But also the best part was it was looking at um, the systemic you want to tell it systemic inequalities in the community. Uh, as much as we enjoy Danbury as a diverse community, when we put a project together like this, it was important all of those thought processes are brought together into the project and rolled it on and tailor-made the right way. To um, and it was challenging, but it was awesome to have all these different voices um, come to something together and to be able to agree on what a Danbury graduate should look like. It is looking forward to um, the future of Danbury. This is what uh, you want Danbury graduates to look, my own, starting from my own graduate who will be graduating six years from now. I want to see him uh, as an innovator. I want to see him as a collaborator. I want to see him uh, as an excellent communicator. I want to see him advocate for himself and someone like him. <laughs>